Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, and the whiskeys that make it sound better. I'm Josh, and today I'm trying out King's Creek Black Label Whiskey, which I spotted at Total Wine out in the wild, and uh, noticed it was 9 years old and 90 proof, and decided to give it a shot. One other thing that caught my eye was that this Tennessee whiskey was bottled in Princeton, Minnesota. Obviously sourced, I couldn't find a definitive original maker for this. With all that being said, why don't we dive into this mystery? Don't worry, all will be revealed at the end. Priced at about $40 for a 750ml bottle, I had high hopes for this one. On the nose, I picked up grains, oak, and peanut. So far, so good. On the tongue, however, things got a little... weird. The grain notes and hints of spice get overwhelmed with an almost cough syrupy cherry wave. Not enough to make me throw it out, but definitely designed with cocktails in mind. The finish is long and slow, and unfortunately the cough syrup taste lingers a bit long for my liking. Some people will like it, and others won't. As for me, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't quite this. I'll still finish the bottle, mind you, but I probably won't be picking up another bottle anytime soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'd love to hear your comments on what you think of King's Creek. Or, if you have any suggestions, by all means, drop them down there in the comments. If you'd like to be on the channel uh, as a musician, whether reviewed or interviewed, I've got a link down in the description for that, as well as other ways to support the channel. Other than that, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click up there in the corner. And if you'd like to subscribe, you know what to do. I'd really appreciate it, and it really does make a difference. Please click down there, and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.